Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to QNAP Live broadcast from our headquarters here in New Taipei. I'm Razan and today here with us is our PM Itong. We have had Itong several times before in the past and you know when he's here we're going to talk about the multimedia, entertainment and these uh, solutions that we provide here at QNAP and uh, in the QTS and more so with the QTS 441 now we're going to talk about the multimedia console and how it actually works and uses the advantages of hybrid mount yes. and uh, maybe for the viewers just to explain hybrid mount is coming with the full release of the QTS 441 yes. right but uh, you might be familiar so far with the name that is a uh, cache mount that we have been uh, saying it but it's actually hybrid mount is uh, gonna be easier uh, to remember and also it provides the hybrid solution especially on using the multimedia console and integrating it with, with it so we have this uh, presentation of today uh, separated in three major parts uh, this is actually prepared by Itong, the yeah. PM. <laughs> so we, we will go through this uh, together. Yes. We're going to talk about the multimedia console, see what, what is the new stuff. Actually, we, we talked in the past when you yes. were here, right? Yeah, that's right. We, we have another video that goes into more details about this part, but we will mention some of the parts to remind the, our viewers again. And we will go back to hybrid mount to connect in cloud drives and the NAS. So yes. there are different cloud service uh, operators out there that you can make, take uh, the advantage and use it in the NAS. And also where we, the major part of today would be multimedia console and hybrid mount. How do they uh, act together and yes. how does the multimedia console and hybrid mount actually the NAS utilize both these two services. So focusing on the multimedia console, we have uh, this part uh, saying here about the upgrade from the media library that mm -hmm. we've known from the past. And uh, because, you know, people might ask the question like the photo station, why they don't have mm -hmm. their photos, photo, right? Yes, that's right. Why does that happen so? Because before the QTS 441, right? Mm -hmm. we had to choose one method from the fo three followings that we have here so you you were provided these three methods and you have to go only with one of them right yes we integrate these three different uh, methods to uh, set the media folder or um, the content source for photo station into one mm -hmm. uh, single uh, page in multimedia console so what, what, what is new here now, we, we say on the left uh, side, on the right side right actually, side, yeah, yeah. that we have is that we put all of those in one yes, and one, right. one action is going to perform all the activities that uh, are mentioned on the, the previous one. Yes. Uh, anyway, if uh, whenever you want to change any setting about the multimedia applications in QTS 4.1, mm -hmm. you just need to go to multimedia console. For instance, uh, okay. you if you want to set the content source for the application, you just go to Multimedia Console and click the content management page mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you can see all the application list here and you can uh, set their uh, content source folder one by one. Okay, so this is from the uh, UI that is from the Multimedia Console yes. on the left hand side. Yes, that's right. And uh, after you set a folder as a content source folder, like let's say for uh, QMAGI, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the uh, multimedia contents in the, that folder will be, uh, you'll be see in the QMAGI. Yeah. So um, here we we show uh, we show about how uh, we upgrade from media library media library to multimedia console mm -hmm. and uh, if a folder it is used to uh, assign as a photo folder yeah it, after the upgrade it will be uh, assigned as a content source for photo station or QMAG okay. yeah so that would be uh, very smoothly upgrade so this is the perform the diagram actually how it uh, performs this act and how it uh, operates from media library to multimedia console so no one can be confused with this one yes so uh, even you have already set the um, folder property in mm -hmm. previous QTS 
uh, we will we can still upgrade most of the setting to multimedia console so here's an example uh, before and after the upgrading okay. before uh, before the upgrading if the folder property is set to uh, video yeah. as a video folder so after upgrading it will be assigned as a video station constant uh, content source yeah okay. it, it's really to it, uh, it's easy to understand yeah it's much easier and i think to perform after the uh, uh, arrangement and organizing mm -hmm. would be done much faster because of the QMAG that we have yes that's right, right. So this, w this was just a short introduction maybe about the difference from before and now that we have the multimedia console mm -hmm. and all the solutions that we brought with it. But also we might have to, we want to actually introduce the hybrid mount yes. and uh, we've been calling as I mentioned cache mount but uh, it's the same uh, idea, it's mm -hmm. going to perform the same thing and it's coming uh, for setting uh, file cloud gateways and is a as a keys of fast transferring so it's going to be really fast to transfer files documents photos uh, videos and everything through the nas and from mm -hmm. the nas to the computer right yes so how does this uh, we see the hybrid cloud gateway is uh, in the middle of the nas and the computer say we have we can bring clouds closer we can use uh, samba nfs or afp connection and then we can actually mount it as a cache as a local cache in the nas say for example any of the cloud ser service providers that we have like dropbox or what do we have there google drive and everything mm -hmm. we just uh, have provide a cache a uh, as a hybrid mount uh, space and uh, we have it right there and we can access it really fast also from our yes. personal computer right yes that's right so this is uh, that we have two modes on your demand so we are going to focus on the file cloud gateway yes and for that one we are focusing on that one because of the fast access that we can have with the samba protocol nfs afp but also because it can access with multimedia, multimedia. applications on the qts yes. right that's right and uh, the other one file station mount is uh, from the older version there. so we are we're just putting it out there right the, yeah. the one that we have here on the right side it's the same one as it used to be from the remote mount right yes yes actually the same as remote mount the same as remote mount yes okay and uh, so, but we are focusing on the file cloud gateway today yes. right because we can utilize and make uh, you better use through the multimedia console of, of yes. this one that's right so for example, setting up a file cloud gateway to speed the transferring. So how mm -hmm. would you define it here? Uh, because uh, after you set a file cloud gateway uh, with hybrid mount, yes. some of the uh, files in the cloud drive would be downloaded to the cache space in the NAS. Yeah. So after that, you can use your local network to access these files from the NAS to your computer. Uh, with Samba or FP protocols, so that um, that will uh, get the transferring speed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, for the first time, you read the file. It has uh, we have to download it through internet to our NAS, just yeah. I mentioned. Yeah. And after that, if you read the same files, uh, you can just read the the copy in the cache space in the NAS. So that can be performed through a LAN, a LAN network. Yes, that's and right. You don't have to have internet afterwards. And uh, actually it's much faster if you really mm -hmm. want to ha you have instant access to it, right? Yes, that's right. And at the same time, if you write, uh, you want to upload something to the cloud, you can also uh, upload to the cache space in the NAS mm -hmm. with LAN, that w which uh, has a faster uh, mm -hmm. speed. And then you have you can just switch off your computer and go go to work or something else. And the NAS we will uh, we can upload the file to the cloud. Yeah. So yes. the NAS performs the whole task in the background. Yes. That's like right. I, you can either switch your computer or keep doing whatever yeah. else you want to do, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't need to worry about the upload. Yeah. yeah. So the NAS will take care of all that thing, and you can actually have it on the cloud or whatever on the internet you want to have it. Yeah, that's right. So with with hybrid mount, we can connect 
the uh, cloud drive mm -hmm. and our NAS together and we can deal with the uh, upload and download mm -hmm. so the transfer time would be really short. Yes, and this would be actually very useful when you are using multimedia files like videos or large amounts of photos, especially high quality photos if yes. you're using like high quality cameras as well. And then we can come here and see what would be the benefits of using it. Uh, this combination of multimedia console and hybrid mount would be, for example, when storing all your photos on the cloud. Uh, but uh, say all those cloud services, they don't have good uh, management applications, yeah. organizing, arranging all those photos. And especially if you are a photograph, if it's your like, not just taking photos, but it's a professional mm -hmm. uh, thing that you do. This is very useful uh, accessing and using multimedia console with the cache through the hybrid mount that we have. And also another solution would be storing all your videos on the cloud. For example, as you just mentioned, the one of downloading and mm -hmm. uploading and all back and forth, back and forth that we have. Hybridmount would be a super good solution on that as you don't have to worry of getting everything in your computer, but you can get it in your NAS and the yes. NAS can perform everything. And then whenever it's done, you just open it mm -hmm. from the space that you have it from the hybrid mount. So the hybrid mount and multimedia console, they have this kind of symbiosis that they have to actually work together with one another, right? Yes. So I believe it is very useful and uh, you prepared a few steps to build the hybrid cloud with hybrid uh, mount. Yes. Uh, of course, the first step is build a hybrid cloud with hybrid mount. Yeah, well, just uh, like we mentioned before, uh, you can set a file cloud gateway by connecting them, uh, connecting the NAS and the cloud drive together, yeah. and then the uh, the transferring performance will be faster than uh, bef before. Yeah, and the and and the set step two is to set the cloud drive as a common source. For mm -hmm. example, for uh, QMAG. Okay. So after that, you can use QMAG to. Uh, browse all your photos in the uh, cloud drive. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, after the 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 previous two steps, you can enjoy all entertainments we uh, we provide on QDS. Mm. Um, meanwhile, you can also in uh, use the large space in the cloud drive, and you can use Qmagi to organize your photos. You can build your view uh, video library with our uh, video station, you can also stream the videos to uh, yeah. displays with DLNA servers. Yeah, so uh, even even you uh, store most of your uh, multimedia contents on the cloud drives, you can still use QTS multimedia applications. Okay, yeah. so th this is actually very useful. There are many uses of it. And also, I think it depends on the capacity and everything, what kind of NAS model you're using. Yes. So what for what purpose, uh, it depends. There, there are plenty of uh, NAS models that we provide out there. The QNAP yes. uh, has uh, different models, personal models that we have, for example, recommended ones here, like the 351. Mm -hmm. It is a really convenient one with four gig RAM, HDMI output for the multimedia, or if you want to upgrade, go uh, increase the capacity and performance, you have the really good one TS453B, which also has a HDMI and uh, is four bay, and also with SD card and go more professional, like for the 12 bays that we have with Th Thunderbolt 3, and it keeps increasing, and also the TVS872 XT, for larger studios, for entertainment yes. and music industry, video industry and all this. So now QNAP provides a range, a wide range of NASAs depending on the, what, uh, what uh, you're looking for, what is your goal and what is the purpose of use. If you want, don't want much, if you want a personal one, if you're a live broadcaster, YouTube broadcaster like us, but you're doing it from home, go with a personal one or with a family one. Yeah. But if you are a larger studio, if you are a company, a serious company, then maybe go for the last uh, two ones that are more professional and the studio solutions that we have here from the QNAP NAS recommended models. So yeah, this is the QNAP hybrid cloud with a 
multimedia Media console console that yes. we have today. So yeah, thank you, thank you for being here today with us and sharing this uh, introduction and this idea of how to actually make use of some of the applications that we have in the QTS 441 and uh, coming with the official release, right? So yeah, thank you everyone. We'll see you next time on Kunav Live Broadcast. Bye. Bye.